hauls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Cougars' offense takes the field. And as this star running back comes... The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun, the ground game. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give from the gun. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. He'll pull it down and run. Oh, there's the ball. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he had an opportunity there to make something out of nothing, but things just got sideways and the ball came free. I just like the effort on defense, okay? They couldn't get to the quarterback initially in the pocket. He starts scrambling and they don't quit. You saw all of the effort of everybody pursuing the QB, catching up to him and them creating the fumble. Awesome job. The offense set for a first down play. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Tackle is made at the 30-yard line after he picked up four. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Coming after it. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. And that's why everybody in college football is trying to recruit athletes like this to play the 4-3 defensive end position. You can find guys that can stop the run at defensive end, but how many are excellent pass rushers? How many have all the tools in their toolbox like this guy does? Not many. The Cowboys will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And they can't get on top of it to down it, so that ball will come out to the 20. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. They'll leave it with him. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Looks as if BYU will have to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. On the move, it's Presley. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll go right back to the run. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Dropping back, it's Bowman. Pocket starts to collapse. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And that is your top line. O-line has to protect the quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. And the Cowboys will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. 
They think they can create space here with a run to the right. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Right back to it. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Feeling some heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. You know, when you go down personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game. So it's harder to throw if you're the quarterback. There's just not as many windows. They've got more guys in coverage. They're expecting to at least have a little bit more time. But your offensive line, man, they just couldn't hold up. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Presley. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. They're going to go right back to him on first down. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Looking for a crease. It's Gordon. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. The Cowboys looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Noses his way forward, maybe gets one. They'll mark it at the 18. Now on third down after that run. Looking for a man, it's Bowman. They're bringing heat. Quarterback all over the place, trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. He'll have to settle for a no, field goal attempt. He boomed it through, a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful back. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, a colossal top five matchup. Let's fill you in on what's going on. Texas is down right now, but there is still a ton of football to be played. And for a program that ranks inside the top ten all-time in wins, don't be surprised if they come back. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Georgia. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this top five matchup you should know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. They go to the ground. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. The give on the inside. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's first and ten for this offense from the 42. The inside handoff. Still on his feet at the 45. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Cougars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Oklahoma State has the lead here. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats.
now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Grabbed over the middle, it's Roberts. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. Smashes through. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score a touchdown. Oh, man, almost picked off in the end zone. What a red zone stop that would have been. It's third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Phillips. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. Field goal is good. And the field goal ties it up here in the second quarter. Set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Fires left. It's complete. Turns it on down the left side. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Cowboys! Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. Looks like he's going to try to return it. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. And, and he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. From the gun, running back gets the give. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And the Cougars have their offense in high gear. Here's a quick throw out to the left. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. Lining up to convert third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Looks as if BYU will have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They move the tight end all over. They'll give it to him again. 
You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Eighth play of the drive coming up. They'll go to the ground. Breaks the tackle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. Looks as if BYU will have to punt it away. Bringing it back, it's Presley. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's Presley. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Quick strike complete. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. From the gun, the running back has it. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Trying to get to it. Trying to escape and get it himself. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. They reached deep in the playbook, used almost all of them, it seemed, Jesse, and still ended up having to punt last time. And I think on this next drive, David, you can go back to some of the stuff that worked that last drive, too. Find the things that you had success with. You just got to be able to build on it. Yeah, and just break that extra tackle, you know? Make that extra play. Make the guy miss. Put a drive together so you can finish with some points. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. On second down, wants to throw it. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Cougars come to the line with a new set of downs. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, and a nice job working in the middle. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. You got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Makes the catch. It's Davis. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time. He gets to that first down marker. On second down, just keeps firing. They're trying to get to it. He's got it and still on his feet. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Right down the boulevard. It's good. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. On the move from inside is five. He goes out of bounds on that return right at the 20-yard line. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. 
They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be The expressway is wide open. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point is good, the and they have an 11 good. point lead. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk BYU. yardage, put points on the board just like that. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Provo. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's gonna be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to our broadcast team inside Lavelle Edwards Stadium. BYU about to kick it off to open the second half. The returner will field it and bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky. And if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football game. He now has 84 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. They'll run it from the gun. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll run this play from the pistol. On the ground, it's Gordon. Still running at the 40. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And the Cowboys are in the hurry up. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. The Cowboys getting set on first and 10. From the red zone, it's Gordon. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. 
going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Keep it on the ground. Drag down at the six after a pickup of two. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Wants to throw, it's Bowman. Pressure coming. Oh, he just handled it poorly and it's a fumble. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. And this QB has the ability to make huge plays and scramble around and do things off schedule. But that time he coughed it up. Did a great job of getting outside the pocket, but the defense closed in, forced the fumble, recovered it. Great job by the defense. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Out of the gun. The running back has it. You just can't go backwards. There he did, and they swarmed him for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Give to the running back. And the Cowboys will keep this drive going. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. That's a first down from the offense. Takes the handoff. It's Gordon. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Leaves it with the running back. At the 40, there he goes. Running toward the tape. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And they take it in for six more points. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. And they'll try to tack on two. The option look. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 27, BYU, 6. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're and giving up good. points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Give to the back. Still running at the 40. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown Cougars. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And to have a Russian touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear, with his speed, he was gone. He'll try to tack on one more. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. 
we check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? And guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Arkansas is dominating this one thanks to an offense that's been running hog wild since the opening kickoff. They're up by 21 over LSU. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. To the ground. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Looking for a crease to the left. At the 45 on his way. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. The Cowboys want to move quickly. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. They're looking to pass from the red zone. He wants it all. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. On the ground, it's Green. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. After making one field goal, he'll need a little distance on. This one, a 40-yard try coming. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that lead grows even bigger. Oklahoma State, 30, BYU, 13. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. From inside the 10, here he comes. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. The give to the back. At the 40, there he goes. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense and their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Caught behind the line. It's Bowers. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. BYU with the first and ten. Gonna run it. It's Martin. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Oklahoma State has the lead here. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. He makes a catch. And that's Finally run out of bounds, bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. He's going to pass. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. He's going to work on second down in the red zone. and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Coming after him. Short gain on the play before he slides. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires into the end zone. What a snag by the defense. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Looking for room, it's Gordon. Not much room there. They'll give him one to the nine. Now facing a third and long. They'll give it to the back. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Cowboys will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. They're going to throw it to start the drive. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He'll off one deep down the left side. Pulls it in inside the 10. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. After that huge gain, now a chance to cash it in from just outside the five. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way, and they finally get him down at the two. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Got it. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. They'll come to the line just trying to keep their hope alive on third and goal. Go straight ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, BYU! This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
BYU. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner is stopped. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Looking for room, it's Gordon. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Motion from the offense. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. The Cowboys come to the line in the hurry up. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it, keep getting those stats. They'll ride the hot hand. And there is nowhere to run. They were eager and ready for him this time around. To the ground with the back. He breaks a tackle. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And the Cowboys look to do some damage in the red zone. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Fights off a defender. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Drag down at the six after a pickup of two. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Cowboys! Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll start this drive with a pass. Throws to the tight end. And this senior quarterback knows he had a chance that time and just put a little too much on it. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Unloads to the wideout. Got him, and nobody's close. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Throws to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the misfire now on second down. The aerial assault continues. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. 
He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Blast it as he lets it go. It's incomplete, and they'll turn it over on down. Offense working from the pistol. Here's the handoff. Open space at the 25. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. Wide out in motion. They'll run it on first and goal. Pistols firing, touchdown Cowboys! And the beatdown has ensued. They push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They wasted no time on that drive. Two plays, touchdown just like that. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Fires into traffic. Picked off. And they'll drag him down. Good return on the interception. He looked as if he thought he had it all the way. And this junior makes a play. Heat up them pass rushers, bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. They'll try the run. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Brings up second down. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job of this team being ready, getting the W. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been...